Welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll be looking at 5 essential shooting drills that you can do with a partner to improve your finishing. So let's go. Starting off with drill number 1 which I call combination to whip. For this drill you're going to start off like so towards the side and near the edge of the box. You're going to bounce a pass to your partner, they're going to play it back into your feet, take a touch out beside you and aim to whip the ball into the far corner. It's important with this drill, as with all the drills you'll see in this video, to make sure that the passing combination is fast and crisp to best mimic a match situation. In terms of the shooting, occasionally you can aim for the near post, but most of the time you should be aiming to bend the ball into the far corner. In order to do this, make contact around the instep area of your boot and try to practice the motion of wrapping your foot around the ball to produce that inside curve. Another quick tip for this drill is to make sure that your first touch is big and wide so that you can apply enough power to the shot as well as sufficiently wrap your foot around the ball. Number 2. Combination to a cross goal With this drill you're going to start off like so, slightly to the right and close to the edge of the D. Again you're going to bounce the ball with your partner, they're going to play it back into your feet, take a touch out beside you and aim to fire the ball into the far corner. With this drill you can use the same technique as the previous, aiming to curl the ball into the far corner with your instep, but personally from this angle I prefer to drill the ball with my laces. In order to achieve this, try to make contact a little bit higher around the bone of the foot and try to think of your follow through as less coming around the ball, but more coming through the ball, creating this powerful driven strike. I think this drill is very useful and one that you should try to master because as an attacking player you're going to find that you shoot a lot from this angle in match situations so if you can consistently find that far corner it's going to be very difficult for goalkeepers to save. Number 3 Cross and Finish For this drill you'll be positioned like so with the crossing player starting with the ball. They're going to play a pass into the striker's feet who's going to play a first time through ball out wide. At this point the crosser should run onto the through ball while the striker peels off towards the back post. The striker should continue their run and as the ball comes into the box they should aim to finish first time. The thing that I like about this drill is that if it's done to a good intensity it's very match realistic and it can really help improve your fitness. It's particularly useful if you and your partner are a striker and a wide player as both of you can work on important attributes of your game simultaneously with the wide player working on their crossing and the striker working on the timing of their runs and their finishing. With this drill, if you're the wide player, it's important to adapt the height of your crosses so that the striker gets to practice different types of finishes. Number 4. Combination to a cross goal, weak foot. This one is going to be an exact replica of the second drill but just flipped over to the other side. So you're going to bounce the ball into your partner, they're going to play the ball back into your feet, you're going to take a touch out beside you and fire the ball into the far corner. So we're going to use the same technique as before but this time just with our weak foot. It's so important to work on both feet because we don't want one side to fall behind the other. Even if it feels really uncomfortable to be shooting with your weak foot at first, it's important to persevere and stick at it because trust me, with enough time and repetitions you'll definitely see improvement. And again with this drill, it's important to take a big first touch out in front of you to allow time to set yourself before the strike. Number 5. Touch and Finish For the final drill, you're going to have one player stood behind the goal line with the ball and another player stood at the edge of the D. The player with the ball should fire a pass into the other one who should take their first touch into the D and finish on their second touch. Again, I like the fact that this drill is quite materialistic as it's as if the opposition team has cleared the ball to you at the edge of the box and you can have a strike on goal. In order to achieve this realism, it's important that the passing player fires the ball in at pace to test the receiving player's first touch. Also, try to only take one touch and finish as this is likely what you do in a similar situation in a match. In order to make this drill a bit more interesting, you could take turns with your partner being the passer and the receiver and make it a competition as to how many goals you can score each time. So that's it, those are the 5 shooting drills, so make sure to go out and practice them for yourself. 